Tonight, a flurry of new questions mounting over a just released autopsy report for Manuel Tehran. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Sean Gables. The activist was killed by state troopers at the future Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. Troopers say Tehran shot at them first. One of the most startling parts of this report reveals Tehran had 57 gunshot wounds. However, it says only 14 projectiles or fragments were recovered from his body. The autopsy was done by the DeKalb County Medical Examiner. Office. The new details are coming as crews continue to clear that land for the controversial facility. It's in the southeast part of Atlanta. Critics have called it, of course, Cop City. They want it stopped. Atlanta News First reporter Patrick Quinn is live at the site tonight. And Patrick, this is the second autopsy that we've seen. The second autopsy, the first done by the family, this one done by DeKalb County. And what makes this one different is the bullets were still inside of Manuel Tehran's body when the pathologist conducted this autopsy. And this gives us our best forensic look into what transpired in this shooting. This autopsy is also what a DA will review to determine if the officers involved in this shooting should face criminal charges. A diagram from the newly released DeKalb County autopsy showing 57 gunshot wounds to activist Manuel Tehran. It says that it was a gruesome and painful death. Jeff Filippowitz, the attorney representing Tehran's family, said this latest report amplifies their grief. They're devastated by the loss of their child. They're confused by the reaction of law enforcement and the limited information that's been provided to them. The state has stood by their assessment that Tehran shot first. Here's GBI Director Michael Register on January 18th, roughly two hours after Tehran's time of death. Someone on the property, as law enforcement came into view, uh, initiated fire on the law enforcement entities and they returned fire in self-defense. In the latest autopsy, state officials found Tehran did not have gunpowder on their hands. I asked Filippowitz about this development. The fact that there was no gunshot residue, as much as I would love to stand here and say that's indicative that, that Manuel did not have a gun or did not fire a gun, that's just not what the science is. Atlanta City Council member Liliana Bakhtiari said the Department of Justice needs to investigate. Because GBI should not be leading this investigation, GBI has no place as being part of this investigation. They led this multi-jurisdictional sweep and they are complicit in the homicide. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation officially wrapped up their probe into this shooting on Friday. It's now in the hands of the district attorney of Habersham County, George Christian. I called him up on what's next. And your could be used is not required. Um, I don't know what going forward, um, you know, ha what will happen, but uh, I've got to look at what evidence is in the GBI reports and uh, before I make any kind of decision. And D.A. Christian told me he has not started to review this case. He will start next week when he first meets with the GBI. Meanwhile, the family tonight, they want those initial interviews from officers involved in this shooting released to the public. Live outside the Public Safety Training Center here in DeKalb County, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First. Today, 